I love going home and visiting my mum, my best mate. She always tells me what film she's been watching. Recently, she told me she'd seen the film 127 Hours. I don't know if you guys have seen that film. Uh, if you've not, it's amazing. It's based on a true story, right? It's about a guy, he's canyoneering in America, his arm gets trapped under a rock. He realises that no one's coming for him, so he has to cut his own arm off so that he can get to safety. Only when my mum told me that she watched that film, right, she called it 127 Minutes. <laughs> That's a different film entirely, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? That is essentially a film about a man with a severe lack of patience. (laughs) Right, fuck it, it's been two hours, off we pop. (laughs) It'll be dark soon. (laughs) Just glad she's not seen 12 hours of Slave. It's over time, Keith. You asked for it. <laughs> Keith's my dad. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I come from a family of idiots. I'm a big idiot. The biggest idiot in my family, I'd have to say. I love her to bits, but it's my little sister. She's three years younger than me. She's amazing. These are the two stupidest things she'd ever said, right? I went home a few weeks ago, and I was cooking them. My mum and my sister, T, I was cooking them a really simple meal. Gammon and chips. Not with pineapple. If you like pineapple on savoury food, you're a freak. (laughs) And I was in the kitchen, right, and I was opening this pack of gammon, and my little sister walked past the kitchen door, pointed at it, and these are genuinely the words that came out of her mouth. She went, Oh, them's big bacons. (laughs) I don't even care that she called the gammon big bacons. That's sort of an accurate description. It's the fact that she said the word thems. This is the same woman who on my 20th birthday gave me a hug and said, Happy birthday, bro. How's it feel to be in double figures? (laughs) Felt pretty good. (laughs) 